Cyril Anders, uh, I'm farming um, the farm that I grew up on uh, near Hilda, uh, Alberta. I've always uh, enjoyed having the opportunity to be to be a, an early adopter of things and many times I haven't been able to afford it but at least I think it and uh, I, uh, I think it has exciting possibilities. My uh, name is Brian Skinner. Uh, my farm is located north of Provost, about 30 kilometers. Uh, third generation farmer. Um, farm with my father right now. 3,600 acres, uh, grains and oil seeds, and a little bit of livestock. Being a young farmer, you kind of have to jump at the opportunities as they're presented. Uh, something with th this kind of assets that's being presented to us, you know, it's kind of have to strike where the iron's hot and being young and have time on your side to invest and ride it out is probably a good opportunity. Hi, I'm Charlene Lusney. My husband and I live in the whole fast area where we farm 5,000 acres. So there's a sense of pride in farming and it, it goes beyond a job. It's, it's your livelihood, you breathe it. And uh, so for an opportunity to come forward to uh, get into the markets of, of uh, fertilizer and, uh, and the terminals at the port, that's just huge. Like when you're trying to grow your farm, this has never been done before and it's a pioneer and it's a huge opportunity for us to make our farming worthwhile for our children financially to come back to. Uh, my name is Jim Hale, a farm uh, in the Lancer area, in southwest Saskatchewan, we're kind of between uh, Leader and Cabri, and uh, farm with my mother and farm about 2,700 acres. I, I think it's a really, you know, it's something everybody has to weigh out a little bit on their own, but I think it's, it's once you really wrap your head around what the opportunity is, that, you know, it's very rare that these opportunities, you know, come around and, and that you know, that may likely will never come around again. So you have to kind of ask yourself, you know, if you don't do anything, if you don't act, um, you know, where will you be? I mean, we kind of already know where that is because we're, we're in it right now. I'm Doug Heyman. We farm uh, with my brothers and my dad northwest of Verdon, Manitoba. Uh, we operate 6,300 acres. I know with farming these days, it's very challenging. Uh, this year, for example, the weather um, and then markets are just dropping in the last couple of months. Um, to be able to own this multinational company and to have it working for you and have the company working for you to hopefully profit for years to come and to be able to keep producing for years to come and for our next generation to be able to produce. I, I'm Don Herndeer from Lambrick, Saskatchewan. I'm a retired uh, independent seed grower and uh, I've been farming for 48 years here now. Like just because we've failed in a few other opportunities, this is one opportunity that I, I would really like them to pursue. As, as farmers, we have an opportunity. Let's just take advantage of this chance and uh, if it works out fine, if it doesn't, at least we tried. We can't be sitting around the coffee shop later saying, you know, this is what we should have done. We probably could have made it. From